got sort of the best of both worlds, of the fantasy world as well as the reality. It was unknown times a thousand. All of that terrifying, horrifying, and gross out all was used in the movie Alien by Ridley Scott. It's Halloween in space. Simple idea, then you play it through. Alien, they always classify it as science fiction, and it's not science fiction, it's gothic horror. It solves the ultimate problem of the haunted house. Why don't people just get out of the house? Well, in Alien, there is nowhere to go. And it even had, like, you know, Harry Dean Stanton going, here, kitty, kitty. I mean, it had classic old dark house put in this new setting. That run-down, beat-up-looking future. Any movie that's that claustrophobic scary. If you look at Kubrick's 2001, that was the white-collar space. And then you look at Alien and all the Alien rip-offs, it's blue-collar space. But when you first saw that Giger design for the first time, it was so insane. Giger's uh, design of that creature uh, was, it was just totally nightmarish. The way Ridley shot it, I couldn't comprehend what it was and I couldn't really see it. You never saw that creature until the very end. You saw a tongue, you saw a face, you saw a slobber. Some of those aliens they had like, like dog. really weird tongues. It's a very sexual film because it's about people getting violated. When that thing was on John Hurt's face, yeah. and then like the, uh, you know, its its penis went into his mouth. It yeah. it. Whatever it was, yeah. whatever it is that went into his throat. Is that I don't think it was a penis. penis. I think it was alien penis. The absolutely hands down scariest scene in Alien is the scene that looks as though it's the calm after the storm. Ridley Scott kind of lures you in with this naturalistic conversation. And, and I think there's a naturalistic conversation which feels very much like improv. It's all normal and they're eating. Sort of having dinner, basically, eating those sort of space crackers. And then John Hurt starts to cough. A lot of his success had to do with the misdirection. You just absolutely did not expect that to happen. Completely unexpected and it, it it goes right to one of the core fears of human beings is that you don't want anything to get inside of your body. I had gotten such a sucker punch. <laughs> what the hell is going on? That got me. Uh, I had to change my underwear. And that look on Veronica Cartwright's face when she gets sprayed with the blood, I mean, it's real. It was it was terrifying. And that wonderful little moment where it goes, <laughs> before it runs away, because um, it was so startling. <laughs> they made it very real. They took something ridiculous and made it very real. I sat there frozen like this for the rest of the movie until it was over and then I went outside and I threw up everywhere. Alien was the first movie that made me barf. That's why I always hold a special place in my heart.